Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a what fits in my bag. This is the Goyard GM St. Louis tote in the black leather with the black detailing here. I know some of them do come in the black with brown. I went with the black on black because I just am a true black person. I absolutely love black. And I do have a base shaper that was sent to me from my friends at M Boutique. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and install it in the bag with you. Okay, so here is the base shaper. This is my first time using it for this bag. And let's go ahead and put it in together. So if you have seen the Goyard St. Louis, I do have some items in here, so let me just remove them. But there really is no structure to it, which I love about the bag. I love that sort of saggy, look that very casual um almost like a little like distressed look to it let's go ahead and add this for a little bit of structure now depending on the belongings that are in the bag that will give the bag its shape so the less items the more saggy it looks obviously if you have some heavier items at the bottom of the bag it's going to give it a little more structure so here i've got the base shaper in there you go. You can see I have to have this bag cleaned. It has definitely been worn and is very well loved. I've got some blue stain here. I'm not sure what that's from. I think at one point I had a water bottle in this bag that spilled. This is what happens when you have kids, unfortunately. Um, and I do tend to not really baby my bags. Maybe I should, but let's take a look here. So the base shaper does give it more structure at the bottom there, which I like. You can still get that somewhat saggy look at the top, but what I like about this now is that this bag will stand on its own. So let's go ahead and fill it up with some belongings that I have here. So I just have some random things on my desk as I'm filming, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add them to the bag just to give it, you know, fill it with some stuff. I do have this cutie from Dress Up Your Purse, which I like because I can throw in some of my lipsticks and lip balms and anything that I'm worried might damage the bag. I can throw that in as like an extra pouch. And then I've got both of my Louis Vuitton key pouches. And I still have so much room left. This bag really does pack a punch. If you're a mom or you're looking for a work bag or a travel bag, this is the way to go. The Goyard St. Louis has been a favorite of mine for many years. I've had this bag for about four years now. I also have it in the white color and I love them both. The nice thing about this bag too is because of its texture and how soft and moldable it is, this is a great travel bag because if you want to perhaps bring it with you on a trip to use while you're shopping during the day, if you're going to farmer's markets or shopping and you want to have an extra bag to kind of throw your belongings in, you can easily fold this up and pack it in your suitcase. Or you can wear it as your travel bag while you're on the plane. So I've packed this bag to the brim. I'm going to throw in this phone case that I have here. So I actually have the mini right now and I just ordered the new iPhone 15 Pro in the regular size, not the maxi. Um, I just prefer a smaller phone because it just fits in my bags better. And you can still see here, I have so much space left. I'm looking for things to pack in. Okay, here's another bag I have from Dress Up Your Purse. This is a nice little envelope coach made from real leather. You can wear this as a crossbody. It comes with these little uh, hardware here, so you can attach a crossbody strap. You can tell I have not babied this bag at all. I do wear it for travel, um, but let's go ahead and throw this in there. I've got quite a few belongings in here, and I still have tons of space. And let me try to zoom out. Okay, so you can see my desk here, but here's a better angle. You can see the bag in full. So here it is. I need to just put this in there, okay? So it does come with this cute removable pouch, but look at that. It's got nice structure to the bottom. It protects the bottom, especially for people like me that don't really baby their bags. I actually love this. I think I will be wearing this bag with the base shaper from now on. You can use my code for, I believe you get 15% off. It's linked down below for you. Uh, I do not get any commission from M Boutique. 
I do get commission from Dress Up Your Purse. Either way, I don't recommend anything unless I would purchase it myself. And in many cases, I have purchased items myself with my own money, um, especially from Dress Up Your Purse. So again, no obligation, but if you'd like a little bit of a discount, you can use my code GIRLGONELUX for 15% off at both places. I love the M Boutique Base Shaper. I do have them in a couple of my bags, including my Chanel Wallet on Chain and my Chanel Classic Flap. And again, I just love the structure that it adds. So it doesn't take away the sagginess that I love about the bag, but it does add a little bit of structure at the bottom if you're looking for that. I, I, I love it. I love the way it looks. Look at that. So you've got that nice structure there at the bottom, but you still have the nice soft moldable floppy type of leather that I love Goyard for. So let me know what you guys think. If you've purchased from these stores before, if you've used them or would like to and are interested, please be sure to comment down below. Don't forget that I'm running a competition. If I reach 1000 YouTube subscribers by the end of September, 2023, you will be choosing my next handbag purchase. So please be sure to subscribe, tell your friends, Give this video you a must follow up. me on Instagram and TikTok in order to vote on my next bag. So I need to get to 1,000 subscribers by September 31st, 2023. Tell your friends, spread the word. I'm almost there. And then you guys will be choosing my next bag purchase. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.